What is up my lovely subscribers? It's your favorite girl. I'm Amani Jelena and I'm here with another video for you guys. If you guys have no idea who I am, my name is Amani Jelena, the owner of Allure 96 Hair and Lash Company and also the brand owner of ImaniJelena.co. So if you need any ebooks, webinars, digital downloads, any educational work, visit ImaniJelena.co. And also as far as Allure 96 goes, if you need or if you want to partner up with a wholesale company, a dropship company, a pre-ship company, or if you just want to order bundles for yourself, uh, the link is in the description as well. But as you can see from the title of this video, this video is basically going to be about the proper price vendor should be charging you. I've been in the hair industry for quite some time. I've had my own hair company for, for a little over three years now. Shout out to me. Um, so I've dealt with a lot of vendors, some good, some bad. I've dealt with a lot of prices. I've realized prices change over the years, but I realize a lot of y'all are getting finessed out here, okay? So we're not, you know, it's about to be 2021, okay? And, and we don't have any room to be getting finessed. So I decided to come up with a video just to give you guys a clear gist or a clear estimate of what you should be getting charged because a lot of these vendors are finessing y'all a lot of these vendors are overpricing their products tremendously and i'm going to give you guys a little back history the reason i have dealt with so many vendors especially recently and within the last year or so is because i also sell vendors lists and when i do sell vendors lists or when i am um reviewing different hair companies and different um, products and things like that I have I have to pay for the hair like just like you guys you know I don't get anything sent for free so they send me a price list I'm going over prices I'm going over their lace products their their lace their 360 wigs they're this they're that, they're that just to make sure the hair is good and if it's not good I move on to a different company if it's good I keep working with them and so forth so that is how I've accumulated all this information and I'm able to compare prices and all that good stuff. So specifically, we're only going to talk about our Chinese hair. Uh, and with that being said, I'm gonna break it down a little more for you guys. We're only gonna specifically talk about um, different tech, different origins hair, specifically Brazilian, Peruvian, Mongolian, and so forth. As far as Indian, I can make a separate video on that if you guys want me to dive more into raw textures, but uh, we're gonna keep it simple today. Brazilian is one of the top textures, so we're just gonna mainly talk about the Brazilian, Peruvian, Mongolian, all that good stuff, okay? And how I'm going to do it, because I wanna keep this video kinda short, short for you guys, so that you guys can like literally watch this if you're dealing with the video and be like, no, nah, uh, uh, next. That's too expensive, next. So. <laughs> I'm just literally gonna go in row in a row um in a, a few lengths so just so that you guys can get a gist of what these price points are supposed to be okay so for instance if you go to a vendor and they're selling let's say a 10 inch we're gonna start small and work our way down if they're selling a 10 inch that 10 inch should be between at least 14 to 19 dollars 12 inch 15 to 20 dollars 14 inch 16 to 25 dollars 16 inch 17 to about 29 dollars 18 inch 19 to about 33 dollars a 20 inch between 20 and 41 dollars and this is where the the bottom line kind of like spikes up a little bit a 22 inch at least between 28 and 41 dollars a 24 inch between 30 and 45 dollars a 26 inch between 36 dollars and 50 dollars a 28 inch between 41 and 53 dollars and then uh the last one i'm gonna the last length i'm gonna talk about is like a 30 inch and that should be between 48 and 57 dollars now this is good hair I'm talking about. So I know there's probably some of you guys like, oh, that's a little expensive, but I'm talking like good hair, okay? Those are the prices that you should be paying. You shouldn't be paying more than that though. That is the moral of the story. You shouldn't be paying $70 
for a 30 inch unless you're with like a dropship company or a you know you're working with like a third party company things like that if you're dealing directly with a manufacturer you should be getting direct wholesale prices so i want you guys to really like uh you know go over this video a few times as, especially when you're on the hunt for vendors going over prices and things like that and just make sure that they're not over pricing you that is the point of this video I don't care if you guys are saying that it's too expensive as long as they're not overcharging you what I'm saying you're moving in the right direction because this is these are prices from good vendors now there are some vendors out there that'll probably charge you dirt cheap but just know if you're paying a dirt cheap price for some hair you're gonna get dirt cheap dirt cheap quality so just be mindful you get what you pay for ultimately but moral of the story is don't let these vendors fool you because honey they will fool you if you let them but if you guys have any questions for me let me know leave it in the comments section if you want a shout out from me just drop some comments get noticed from me and i'll shout you out my next video don't forget to like this video and also don't forget to subscribe for additional tips and tricks from yours truly other than that don't forget to follow me on my different social media sites check out my websites all that good stuff this is you know shameless promo but i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next videos in my next video